Hey guys, this is Baskets, and uh, today we're going to talk about this tent right here. It's a Z-Pax Duplex. Uh, it weighs 19.4 ounces, a little over 20 ounces uh, with the stuff sack, and uh, we're going to look into setting it up and do a quick review of it. We used it on our Appalachian Trail through hike. So this actually is not my tent. Um, it's Garden State's tent, but I was. Uh, able to use it. So um, this was my dream tent for the longest time. I never bought it because it's about over $600 um, It's why is it so expensive because it's super lightweight. It's made out of Cuban fiber material and uh, From looking at it. It's got 2192 miles on it and it literally looks almost brand new um, Just from looking at it. You can probably get another 2000 out of it at first, by looking at it, it looks spacious, but you don't really realize how spacious it is until you actually get inside the tent. I'm about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, and Julie's 5'3", uh, and we had plenty of room in there. Um, you can have your packs inside, but you got to be careful. If they lean on the wall, you could get some, uh, some rain coming in. So if it's raining heavy, keep your packs on the outside. The vestibule has a ton of space and uh, super roomy having you know you, you can do whatever in there and uh, it's better than a hotel <laughs> now the best part about this tent is uh, it's a tension tent so it's super easy to set up as long as you have two hiking poles or two sturdy sticks you can set it up within minutes now Garden State's going to show you how to set up this tent all right guys Z-Pax duplex uh, I'm going to do a quick review of it and uh, Garden State will be setting up the duplex. You want to put the four stakes in first on all four corners. The trekking poles to be at 120 centimeters. All right, now that we have the trekking poles set up to 120. You can put it in this little pocket here. Put it into the ground. Pull it a little bit. You want to give yourself some slack here. And then we did the same thing on the other side. Yep. So before you go to tighten this, you want to tighten the four corners. All right, we got the four corners uh, spread out. So now you can pull these strings here and make your tent nice and taut. So, there you go. And then depending on the weather, you can roll these back. Get those views. Yep. Huh? Alright, I always loved keeping at least one door open. Just for some privacy. So, I'd hook it there. That's a beautiful z pax tent right there. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, if it's windy or you're sharing your tent with someone who's a little taller, bring these out. Okay. I always appreciated the extra headroom. <laughs> See how it uh, yeah. pulls it up a little bit. and Better be safe than sorry. It better do it in the evening if you think it might be a little windy than uh, having to get up at night to tighten those up. And that creates more space on the inside and you do that for both sides.
beautiful tent. Oh my god. I miss this tent so much. <laughs> My job would be to get in and try to get my sleep. Yeah. As you guys just saw, it's super easy to set up and uh, let's, what are we waiting for? Let's take a tour inside. So then the next thing is you put the second pad in and uh, Let's see how much room there is after the, if you're using inflatable pads. Home sweet home. Very bad. Home sweet home. Gosh. This is the lie. This is the lie. I'm not even going to put the camera down. Here we are inside the tent. Welcome to our Z-Packs crib, guys. Got the, all that room in the back there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's all sitting in here. You got, we still have, see all this room we have? Yeah. And we can like put our whatever here, you know? Mm -hmm. I have so much room, it's, it's pretty incredible. Hey Baskets, you comfy? Yeah, so as you can see, just wanted to show you guys, uh, it's comfortable enough for two people. You can squeeze the packs in here. If they're ultralight packs, if they're bigger packs, um, put them in the vestibule. And uh, yeah, super roomy, super comfortable tent. Um, is it worth 600 bucks? Considering a hotel can be anywhere from 50 to 120 bucks. Yes, it is worth it. So um, I would recommend it. Um, I've been scared to buy this kind of tent of the because of the price range, but it's uh, it's certainly a lightweight tent made for the ultralight hiker or for anybody, and uh, it's roomy enough and it's great. Um, five out of five stars. And the mosquitoes love it too. They're mm -hmm. already inside. Oh, well, you gotta shut your door there. So, uh, so this thing, what does that do? This uh, changes the bathtub, so the you could lower this down, mm -hmm. or you can tighten it so oh, it comes up. Yeah. You know. And you don't want your pack to go inside like that. You don't want it. You don't sticking. want it to press up against yeah, here. Yeah, because it will start getting the water if it's Because raining. water can come in, yeah. so leave your packs outside. And if you're if you have stuff in here, make sure it's not pressing on this. Because sometimes if you have a water bottle or something and it goes like this, if a little puddle forms outside, you could get a little bit of a trickle of water coming in. Alright guys, so that was the tour of the interior of the spacious uh, house of a tent, as I like to call it. Um, so yeah, one thing a lot of people are kind of worried about single wall tents is the condensation. And if you pick your spots well enough where at least you have some airflow, and then when it's not raining you leave the uh, vestibule door open, you should be fine. Like we only had condensation a couple of times and it's not bad at all. Alright guys, so we both really enjoyed this uh, Z-Pax duplex and uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, if you like this kind of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Um, I have Garden State's uh, link, should be at the bottom uh, in the description. You can check out her channel, she's posting a bunch of uh, different videos. Um, she's got a best of note video coming up, so check that out and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, tried my best to kind of give you a view of the whole thing here, and yeah, it's uh, we really enjoyed using the, the Z Packs duplex. <laughs>